Who has the most good value for and how confident they will be? The banks, um, the, of the assets that are being transferred, um, one or two of them have a, one certainly has a bank requirement. Uh, if it was to be transferred, it would need their approval. That approval needs to be sought while we're in um, this hiatus. The, they're reluctant to do anything. Uh, we're confident as we come out the other side that that would be possible and in the meantime that the, the security, the effective security of that asset would be transferred anyway. So the value is the same, the ownership, part, part of the shareholder would still get to be transferred subject to government approval. So you spoken to the banks involved in this? Because I mean yes. it's quite an integral part to the whole agreement. Yep, well it, it is and it isn't. The, the only difference between getting it and not getting it is direct ownership versus direct security. So the pledge is still there, the asset still would be controlled um, ultimately by Hanover Finance, but the um, bank would need to agree to physically transferring the asset. I think the important thing here is that um, in, in, in all of this, that you know, that this is the, this, these considerations have been assessed or addressed by um, the independent advisor to um, both Hanover Fight, the, the, the trustees, um, so Price Waterhouse and um, and Cordamenta. They've both um, been through this, they, and, and they're both comfortable with um, how the process works, and that these um, these support arrangements will be in place um, on a positive vote. So, um, one, once again, if you have a look at their reports, they they. They are saying that, in, in their view, this is um, a, a better outcome. So, so the point there is, even if the banks didn't agree, it doesn't come back to the shareholders. It stays an asset. It stays um, the effective value of it stays in kind of this control. Yeah. Any other questions? I suppose one thing, to, just for the investors who will be watching this, if you have, had to sum up why should they should go for this option over the receivership option, I mean, what would be uh, the message and the message will be taken to the road shows? The, the, the simple message, the most obvious one is we strongly believe that they'll get more money back under our proposal than receivership and my personal view is that it'll be substantial and it could be double in my view. Um, Coupled with the fact that you've got up to 96 million of additional support that won't be there under the receivership, so um, personally, I think um, you know we're, we're trying to do everything we can to get everybody their money back, and I think this proposal best achieves that, so or helps us to achieve that um, receivership. I think, particularly the type of business is it a, that it is, um, would be very difficult to see in a decent return. I think, I think I can add to that from a sort of executive perspective. I think that, you know, over the last seven or eight months in, in this business, I've seen a couple of shareholders who are absolutely committed to this business going forward. I think that, you know, we've, um, we're, in a, we're in a market that's not been helpful to the industry um, and it's not helpful globally in a financial sense. So, but these guys have been prepared to stand right behind it. Um, we've got a fantastic um, IP within the business. We've got some very, very um, capable guys in, in this business, and you know that's that's going to be available to this business for the next five years to, to, to implement this plan. When would you expect to, or are you planning to um, go back to raising money from the retail venture? The current plan for Hanover Finance, um, as as of today, is not to do that. At some point, it may seek. Um, some other alternative types of funding, but certainly as of today, well, it's not the case. That, that may change if, uh, if, for example, the government um, proposed a new legislation that changed the dynamics, or if perhaps if it was, you know, if you got it under the guarantee or something, you might consider that. But Would you have applied for the guarantee if you hadn't been in the uh, moratorium? Absolutely. Yeah. And just, and just one of the interesting things, Bernard, in, in that we took a really conservative decision under advice from um, some very competent and well-respected advisors to, to enter the moratorium early. Um, it's debatable whether we would have survived through, um, but most of our reverse solvents suggest that is 
indeed possible that we would have survived. And, and we still had our Fitch um, double B plus rating, um, and, and it's very possible that, that we would have um, uh, qualified for, uh, for the government guarantee. We don't necessarily regret doing what we're doing, what we did, because we thought it was really important to conserve cash and to make the announcement when we did, when we had enough cash to survive to this point today and to have run out of cash before we could put a competent proposal in front of investors would have been a disaster. And the potential to get alternative funding, is this being dependent on that alternative funding? No, no. no. But, but it has set the business up so that it will be possible in particular years, two, three, four, five. On the telephone, any further questions? Yes, just got uh, one more question and a minute here again. Look, um, 100 cents uh, in five years' time, I mean, it, it's not really getting all your money back and the time element of the money. Uh, are you disappointed that this is the best you can uh, present to them? I think the point is that um, there's capacity to go be well beyond that with the, the interest sharing arrangement. We've set that, so it's a set of expectation that we think is realistic and achievable. Obviously, our um, our plan is to try and overachieve on that, um, but there was no point in going out and offering something we're not, you know, hundred percent confident we can deliver. So, yes, we'd we'd like to deliver a lot more than that. That certainly is the plan. Okay. Thanks, Adam. Any other questions in the room? Oh, well done. Thank you once again for coming. It's most appreciated.